Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about simplify the following Boolean function using Carnot map in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching theory and logic design course. The given problem is f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 1, 3, 6, 7, 9, 11 and 15. The given Boolean function contains four variables that are a, b, c and d. Whenever the four variables are given in the Boolean function, we have to use four variable Carnap map. This is the structure of the four variable Carnap map. It contains four rows and four columns. So four into four, there are 16 cells are available. So row side, I am taking first to two variables that are A, B. Column side, I am taking the remaining two variables C, D. With the two variables, how many number of possible combinations we are getting? Four possible combinations we are getting that are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. While writing these combinations, we have to follow the gray code. In the gray code, first we have to write 0, 0. Next, you have to write 0, 1. Next, you have to write 1, 1. After that, you have to write 1, 0. This is the most important point. In the column side also, we have to write the gray code in 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Because in the column side, two variables are there. With the two variables, four possible combinations we are getting. While writing that four possible combinations, we have to follow the gray code. Next one. So, in the corner of every cell, we have to write one digit. That digit can be called, that number can be called as cell number. That cell number can be formed by taking the horizontal number and a vertic vertical number. We are getting a 4-bit binary number. For that binary number, we have to find the equivalent decimal number. That equivalent decimal number can be right in the corner of every cell that can be represented as cell number. Okay. For example, I am taking this cell. So, row wise 0, 1, column wise 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, the equivalent decimal number is 5 we have to write the cell number 5 in the corner of the cell. Next, next I am taking this cell. Row wise 1, 1, column wise 1, 1. So 1, 1, 1, 1. The equivalent decimal number is 15. So that you have to write 15 as the cell number that can be written in the corner of this cell. Next, I am taking this cell. Row wise 10, column wise 10, 10, 10, 10. The equivalent decimal value is 10. So that we have to write 10 as the cell number that can be written in the corner of this cell. In this way, we have to fill the cell numbers in the corner of each and every cell. Okay, next. Sigma is nothing but sum. Small m is nothing but min terms. Sigma m is nothing but sum of min terms. The given min terms are 1, 3, 6, 7, 9, 11, 15. So each and every min term can be written in 4-bit binary form because we are taking a 4-variable Carnap map so that each and every uh, min term we have to write 4-bit binary equivalent. Okay, next. First, 
we have to identify the uh, min term for that min term identifying the corresponding cell in that cell we have to place one okay first i am taking min term one for that min term one identifying the cell number one so this is the cell number one so we have to place one next min term three that means identifying the cell number three this is the cell number three we have to place one next min term six identifying the cell number six we have to place one next min term seven so this is the cell number seven we have to place one next min term nine identifying the cell number nine and we have to place one next min term 11 so identifying the cell number 11 and place one this is the cell number 11 we have to place one next min term 15 identifying the cell number 15 and place one okay so this is one way another way is so here min term one one binary form is triple zero one so first two digits represents the row and the second two digits represents the column so 0 0 0 1 is the column so 0 0 0 1 we have to place 1 next 0 0 1 1 here 0 0 here 1 1 we are placing 1 next 6 0 1 1 0 here 0 1 here 1 0 we are placing 1 next 7 0 1 1 1 so this is 0 1 here 1 1 we are placing 1 next 9 1 0 0 1 this is 1 0 this is 0 1 so we are placing 1 next 1 1 so 1 0 1 1 here 1 0 here 1 1 we are placing 1 next 15 1 1 1 1 so here 1 1 here 1 1 we are placing 1 this is another way for placing 1 next once we are placing 1s in the 4 variable Carnap map for the corresponding min terms here how many number of min terms are there 7 min terms are there check whether 7 ones we are getting in the 4 variable Carnap map or not so here four ones, fifth one, sixth one, and seventh one. Okay. Next, how to group these uh, seven ones? First priority given to octal, octet. Octet means adjacency of eight ones. Who are a grouping of eight ones? But here only seven ones are there. There is no possibility of getting octet. Next priority given to quad. Quad means grouping of adjacent four ones. Okay. Here one, 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 one. Four ones are there. Four ones are adjacent in the in this column. So that these four ones can be formed as one quad. These four ones can be formed as one quad. So this is the first quad. Next, after grouping four ones as one quad, is there any possibility of getting another quad? So here one is there. For this one, this one is adjacent even though it is consumed in this quad. But we have to use it. This one is adjacent to this one. Okay. Next, here one is there. For this one, this one is adjacent even though it is already consumed in this quad. Okay. Now, so this one, this one, this one and this one can be formed as one 
quad how it can be formed as one quad okay when we are folding this corner map from bottom to top when we are folding this corner map from bottom to top for these two ones these two ones are adjacent okay now these four ones are adjacent they can be formed as one quad when we are folding the corner map from bottom to top for these two ones these two ones are adjacent so that four ones can be formed as one quad so this is the second quad next one only here single one is there for this single one the adjacent of this one is this one even though it is consumed in this quad now this one and this one can be formed as one pair okay so this is one pair this is one quad and this is another quad so two pairs two quads and one pair we are getting after grouping seven ones okay what is the simplified expression we are getting first i am taking one so this quad i am considering so what are the variables are there a b c d a b c d okay for this four ones this one we are getting by combining 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 for this one we are getting by combining 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 for this one we are getting by combining 1 1 1 1 1 next for this one we are getting by combining 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 okay here any column can be considered only that column contains either zeros or a ones combination of zeros and ones are there in a column that column cannot be considered okay the first column a column contains a combination of zeros and ones we have to ignore that column B column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. C column contains only ones. So that we have to consider that column. In that column, C value 1. C value 1 means we have to write C. Next, D column is also considered because D column contains only ones. So in that column, D value 1 means we have to write D. So, uh, by, by using this group, we are getting the simplified expression CD. Next, we can go for second quad. So, second quad. So, this one we are considering. What are the variables we are taking? A, B, C, D. Now, these two ones and these two ones are considered. First, I am considering this one. This one we are getting by combining 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 1. This one we are getting by combining 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. Next, this one we are getting by combining 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. This one we are getting by combining 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 1. Any column can be considered it contains only zeros or a only ones. Combination of zeros and ones are not allowed. A column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. C column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. B column contains only zeros so that we have to consider that column. In that column, B value 0 means we have to write B bar. B value 0 means we have to write B bar. Suppose B value contains only ones so that we have to write B. Okay. D column 
we are considering in that column d value 1 means we have to write d. So that what is the expression we are getting? b bar d. Okay. Next. For this page, we have to write the simplified expression. So, what are the variables are there? A, B, C, D. Okay. Now, for this one, how we are getting this one? By combining 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. Next, this one we are getting by combining 0, 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. Only two ones. Now, D column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. C column contains only ones. We have to consider that column. In that column, C value 1 means we have to write C. B column can be considered because it contains only ones. In that column, B value 1 means we have to write B. Here, A column is considered. In that column, A value a contains only zeros, so that we have to consider that column. A value 0 means we have to write A bar. So what is the expression we are getting? So that is A bar B C. Okay. So this is the minimal expression we are getting by from this quad, from this quad and this pair. So therefore, F of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 1 comma 3 comma 6 comma 7 comma 9 comma 11 comma 15. What is the expression we are getting? By simplifying this uh, sum of min terms, we are getting the simplified expression. First one c d plus second one b bar d. Third one, A bar B C. A bar B C. So this is the simplified expression we are getting by using four variable Karna map. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divella Srinivasara, after subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. For better understanding of this uh, digital electronics, ORR, DLD, ORR, STLD course, go to this channel. Go to the playlist called DLD, ORR, STLD, ORR, Digital Electronics. It contains approximately 350 videos. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.